You're watching Truth Talk News. We have activists voicing dismay as the Senate renews government surveillance measures. Um, warrantless wiretapping and surveillance programs, potential terrorism. One of the data I have too is you only think you're a terrorist and uh, you can be uh, actually apprehended. You just have to think that. Um, now, we have this situation with Buffett, billionaire dumping stocks. Unbelievable. So, so if this is all going on, is this why should taxpayers give banks $83 billion a year? Um, on television and in interviews and in meetings with investors, executives of the biggest U.S. banks, notably J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, Chief uh, Executive Jamie Dimon made the case that the size is a competitive advantage. It helps them lower costs and vie for customers on an international scale. Limiting it, they warn, would <laughs> impair profitability and weaken the country's position in global finance. Uh, it's crazy. Then we have taxpayers uh, footing the bill for $83 billion a year in, uh, for the big banks for J.P. Morgan Chase. That's always fun. Of course, we have to give them money. They need help. Incredible. It's America. Well, you know, we also have the Mary Poppins situation. This is cool. I like this picture of Bloomberg. Uh, yeah, you know, we got this nanny state growing here, really growing in New York big time. I mean, and they just they just tell you how to live. You don't like it. You know, you're an outsider and you should be frowned upon. Um, let, we're going to tell you how to live no matter what. Now... You can't buy a pizza and a two-liter bottle of Coke at the same time. Forget about it. It's not illegal. It's illegal. It won't be able to be done. You can't have a pitcher of soda either. It's a $200 fine if it sells a sugary beverage larger than 16 ounces. You can't make this stuff up. This guy looks like he's real happy. He's about to deliver his last pizza and two-liter Coke for a long time. Anyway, um... Nanny Mike's can't do attitude. The city health department began sending brochures to businesses that would be affected by the latest ban, including restaurants, bars, and any food service establishment. Oh my God! Typically, a pizza charge a pizzeria charges three dollars for a two-liter bottle of Coke, but under the ban, customers have to buy a six-ounce twelve six would buy six twelve-ounce cans, a total of seven fifty, to get the equivalent amount of soda. Well, that's why he's smiling. So, so you got to buy six cans of soda, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there's your Coca-Cola in your two-liter bottle that was three fifty. Now you got to spend to get the same amount of soda because you could still buy the individual cans. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Is going to be a profit for the for the businesses? So it's like a tax to help the businesses, I guess. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's it's unbelievable. It's not for the people. Seven fifty. To get the equivalent amount of soda. So you have to buy six 12 ounce cans for $7.50. Unbelievable. I guess the pizza places are happy though. They're going to make some money. But then it gets outrageous because you have like nightclubs and stuff like this and people that have carafes. Who's going to think that you're going to drink an entire carafe of, of wine or alcohol? Now they're also going to these alcohols. Carafes, which mixers are usually served in 32 ounce containers. The most common mixers, soda, cranberry juice, and tonic water, will be limited. Only water and 100% juice will be unlimited. This is unbelievable. I can't, I mean, it's not even, it's just alcoholic drinks and diet sodas are not subject to the ban, nor are fruit smoothies if they don't have added sweetener. Oh, my God. It is such an asshole. Well, I mean, Mike Bloomberg is just absolutely out of control. Absolutely out of control. Two hundred dollar violations. It's to make the city money, and to I guess help the the economy because people are still going to buy soda. I guess I don't know. Hurts the consumer, but I guess that's what collectivism is all about, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Remember, these people are all out to destroy us. They don't want us to be free and have a have a uh, the ability to 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 you know maybe become wealthy and successful. They want us to believe that we can become wealthy and successful and give us every possible roadblock to that success that there is imaginable. Welcome to the new world order. So anyway, uh, considering we got Nanny State Bloomberg here with his little pictures and 
how much salt can a, a chef can use in his pre pre preparing meals, all sorts of these things, unbelievable stuff that he's been putting past the people, and gun laws immediately passed um, in the state. Now a man leaps in front of an E-train in a failed suicide bid in New York City. I mean, there are, the subways have been there since 1903. Subways are very dangerous places, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, many, many people fall prey to this unfortunate accident sometimes, suicides other times, crazy lunatics pushing in front of trains. I think there is definitely a need for us to ban the subways, ladies and gentlemen, because now in the last few weeks, incredibly, uh, we have had many, many uh, people, in fact, the 8th and ninth people injured by train since Wednesday, on Monday. So there were like 9 people injured by trains in, in a, within a week. It, it's just unbelievable. And, and I, I think this is just outrageous, and we have to, we have to ban uh, the, the subways. They're too dangerous. It's too dangerous to commute. We just have to stop that too. I'm going to send that that email to uh, to Mike Bloomberg right away. Okay, that's just unbelievable. <laughs> Where are we going, ladies and gentlemen? Where are we going? Thank you for watching Truth Talk News. I'm Howard Nima. The Second Amendment is not about duck hunting, but it's about our right, all of our rights, to be able to protect ourselves from all of you guys up there. Sell out, Lehman Brothers, Goldman Sachs, false flag, terror attacks, Bill Gates, Henry Kissinger, New World Order, Mind Control, Bank of America, stealing homes with cut and paste, mortgage loans, police, state, taser guns, Gila camps, Mandarin, Monsanto rules the food supply while Big Pharma dopes your mind, prison system, profiteers, foundations, fund the fears, fund the evil through the years, the world's not as it appears. CIA smuggles drugs while Wachovia and Wells Fargo is on them. Then give the proceeds to the owners of the Federal Reserve Bank. Now the IRS takes money out of every single check. Money created out of thin air and leave you with debt. They want to make you a serf, a slave to their demand. They want to take your life in every way they can. Fluoride, GMO, vaccines, chemtrails, United Nations genocide. The world they show us is not real. This is how they kill and steal. Rothschild, Bundy, Rockefeller, Club of Rome. On the Georgia Guide, soldiers written in stone. Cut through the matrix. And on nights like lies. this one, Do not we can say to those families who have lost loved ones in Al-Qaeda's terror, with liberty and justice has all. been done. The lethality of their power is greater than ever. Their capacity to impose control over the politically awakened masses of the world is at a historical low. And in earlier times, it was easier to control a million people than physically to kill a million people. Today, it is infinitely easier to kill a million people than to control a million people. Something's got to pop. Something is the truth. What is it in us that seeks the truth? Is it our mind? Or is it our heart? <laughs>